Yo guys, welcome back to another Dalmachi Memorial Freeze video. Okay, so the live stream just ended and there is so much news to cover. Uh, I've downloaded all of the uh, screenshots that were taken during the live stream from the Dalmachi Memorial Freeze Reddit Discord. Again, big shout out to you guys. Thank you for all the translations and work you do each and every week. Um, you are a huge asset to the community and uh, I appreciate you. Thank you so much. So starting with the 3.5 year anniversary rerun banners uh and the dates that they're going to release at so from the 19th to the 25th as you can see we have the alice and estrella banners uh, i'm not going to give my opinion as to whether you should summon in fact i'm going to stop telling you whether you should or should not summon instead from now on i probably will just um review banners and suggest why you may want to summon or why, why you may want to skip and then it's all on you if you ask me if you should summon or not you're probably not going to get a direct answer anyway right so from the 25th to the 31st we will get the Kagia and Elise banners back by the way guys I will say that these are still fucking amazing units so if you don't have them MLB'd do the math if it works in your favor maybe it's uh, you know worthwhile summoning but just keep in mind we don't know what's coming in the future. There may still be a New Year's mini story event banner type situation. Uh, so these end on the 31st. And then we have from the 31st to the 7th of next year. Uh, well, 7th of January next year, sorry. The Ryu and Alice banners. I am basically skipping all of these. I don't need any of these units. And the ones that I don't have MLB'd, I'm okay not MLB'ing. And then finally, from the 7th to the 14th of January, we have the uh, final banner. The new 3.5 year anniversary login bonus. I haven't even bothered to count how much Iris we're getting from this. But as you can see, the first item you're going to get from there is um, the new cosmetic function that they've added to the game. Where if you equip the dress or cosmetic or outfit to the unit, all of the units with the same name will look exactly like that so uh, yeah they've added cosmetic features if you weren't aware I, I think it's a little bit too late in the game's lifespan and it feels like a cash grab uh, because there are more and you do have to use paid iris to get them so anyway you anyway, know this login bonus greatly appreciated I have no damn iris and I need to kind of save now I'm pretty much skipping all banners until maybe February <laughs> oh why did I choose to go free to play <laughs> Uh, okay, great news for basically everyone. Haruhime and Wine will be added to the interact menu. So, yay! You can basically go and, and interact with that adorable little thing whenever you want. <laughs> That's so cringy, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, this is huge news. For anyone that clears the Bell story chapter up to chapter 40. Is it chapter 40? I think so. Um, I think it was 40. You will be given a force. You will be given a guaranteed OG Haruhime if you don't already have it. Basically, this is them realizing that Haruhime is OP and pretty much a necessity to everyone. She's like an essential. Everyone, you need her. Full stop. You need her. So they're making sure that everyone that doesn't have her at least has the base copy. Me personally, if I if it's retroactive and I get a bond, that's more dope for me. So I'm happy. But yeah, so. Huge news. That is huge news. So if you don't have Haruhime, you don't have her MLB. And you, if you, the thing is, I hope it's retroactive. I hope so. Like if you got it, you can just get the Haruhime because I'd like the doll. But I, I, you know, I spent potatoes and stamina on, on the story. I should get the Haruhime too. Damn it. That's not fair. Like I'm, I'm, I'm just whining for nothing. I don't even know yet. Okay. The bell story chapters will cost zero stamina for your first time clearing. Uh, essentially this means if you haven't beat a chapter it will cost you zero stamina to attempt it so all you need to do now is spend time <laughs> uh, okay yeah so these well, like I said are the new cash grab I'm gonna call it what it is it's a cash grab the new cash grab cosmetic feature that they've added to the game you buy it they're 400 paid iris each you get a four star ticket with the outfit uh, I think I saw someone in chat saying that it costs just over $20. Uh, I don't know what the conversion rate is. I don't know how much 400 paid Iris would cost you guys, but I don't think it's worth for a cosmetic. This is basically out there for the horny whales to to blow out on, pun intended. Um, <laughs> but 
yes, if you equip them to that specific unit or that character, if you equip it to the character, that all of those characters with the same name will be wearing the outfit. Eyes's dress looks horrendous, and um, it's the hat. It is the hat. I hate it. It's horrible. Uh, the new bell banner it will be out, so there is that to do. Uh, I, I, we do have his skills and his stats, so I can go over that briefly. I don't want to make this video too long. I just want to get you guys the news as quick as possible. Okay, speaking of, you can clearly see he is a fast physical attacker. So let's look at the skills. Uh, I'm not going to bring the skills up. We're just going to look at the images. I'm just going to read them out. So uh, they're on the other screen. So sorry if it looks off-putting that I'm looking the other direction. Is that like kind of cutting in there? No, okay, cool. Um, special art, AOE, ultra fire, physical attack with ultra penetration rate and temporary great strength boost, physical resist, magic resist, and fire resist. Minus 50% for one turn. Now, while that is okay for mixed teams, I still don't think that's worth. Um, skill one, uh, fast AOE, fast mid fi uh, fire, physical attack with high penetration rate and buffs. Oh, removes foes but removes foes buffs by two turns lowers foes buffs by two turns oh my god i got there eventually and lowers allies debuffs by two turns um there's been a bit of a typo here rather than putting um basically we're missing a skill so that was skill two that i just read out skill three aoe super fire physical attack ultra crit rate and temporary strength boost uh Plus a self 30% heal, which is okay. It is what it is. He's kind of meh so far. Developmental abilities. Equip a two-handed sword to gain additional 20% agility. Okay. I'm okay with that. And Ox Slayer. Okay, so I already know what he's supposed to be used for. It's kind of sucky, but it is what it is. I don't think he's all that. In fact, he seems kind of meh. The only great thing about him is the artwork. I love the art style. The new art style they're going for with this uh, bell and the weenie look amazing, astounding. I am all for it. With the new side story that comes out, we will be getting... Uh, pff, well, episode 12, sorry. We're, along with episode 12, we'll be getting 400 Iris and 10 Hero Light. That's bloody huge. That is so generous. Um... You know what? I don't actually think... I mean, the hero light, yes. Yes, it is generous. As well as one multi. I'm cool, it's generous. I was about to question it there, but sometimes I think I'm a little bit hard on the devs and I should go easy and maybe just shut the fuck up every now and then. Uh, <laughs> um, okay, so there will be a free daily multi, just like last year's season two. We will get a free multi every day for... Is it like... I don't know how many days it is. Let me just check my notes real quick. Real quick. If I can find the damn thing. Scrolling. Oh, it is what it is. It's for at least a week. I don't have the English. It's okay. I can't find it in my notes. So we will be getting a, a free multi a day. Uh, what is next? I saved that twice by mistake. Okay. We also have the... Okay. When the EX drops on... This is JST, by the way. So I think... What's that? Like 1 a.m.? That's 4 a.m. for me. Uh... There will be a special cutscene when you log into the game, so don't skip it. Watch it. It's probably going to be pretty cool. Retweet campaign. 5,000 retweets will get us 350 iris. Seems pretty steep, but it's 350 iris, so do it. Go and retweet, please. <laughs> uh, okay, right. I need. My, I definitely need my notes for this one. Because the guys over on Discord did um, actually... Go through this. Okay, so over my notes over here so we can see properly. So I can see properly, sorry. So uh, winter 2021, uh, skill flow functions available in certain events. So they're going to be bringing back the skill flow if you missed that beforehand. But I'm not going to go over it in detail now. Uh, 2021 in spring, there's a new collab banner. Again, in, in spring in 2021, new battle content. New battle content? I am assuming that means a new game mode. And I'm extremely happy to hear that because I've been saying for ages we need a skill a mode that isn't just recycled from other modes anyway um you know what would be nice a tower mode type situation i mean we kind of have that with monsophilia sort of ish but not really 
Um, summer 2021 skip ticket functions will be implemented if you've ever played seven deadly sins or anything like that these are good they will cut down your grind immensely uh, again summer 2021 season three of the anime will be added into the game they're waiting till summer that is a little bit of a long-winded process for me I think that's too long but if they're cutting down development costs maybe it's gonna take them longer to just implement it into the game it is what it is I'm just glad it's being added so it, that this is a sign that they are at least not planning to make any drastic or negative changes towards the game in terms in terms of its lifespan in theory you know hiccups happen things can change uh and al along with quality of life gotcha and character improvements i'm all for that and then season five season six planned for winter and spring uh okay okay it also says that on the thing that because it's in Japanese, I've got the translations. It says that New Year's and Valentine's Day banners are coming. So along with all of those reruns, we kind of have to deal with New Year's banners. It is confirmed, unfortunately. Uh, if you're if you're like me, you're kind of broke right now. So I'm skipping New Year's too. Even if they're broken as hell, I can't really do anything about it right now. Uh, these are the rerun banners. I don't recommend summoning on any of them. They're not really... I mean, for me... Actually, you know what? I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. You summon on what you want. I will tell you right now. Ash is still good. Bell is okay. I don't really like him. Um, these two are a skip for me. The Eyes is definitely worth it if you are sort of struggling in war games still. She is still a very good war game unit. They're bringing back the lottery. This is... Okay. Uh, well, let me find my notes here on this one. I did say there was a lot of news, guys. A lot of news. Okay. For the lottery. <laughs> First place gets a four star ticket, four, sorry, five four star tickets, a four star choice adventurer ticket, that's bloody broken, five hero lights, 150 potato snacks, and five million violets. There will be a total of 200 first place winners. Second place will get two four star tickets, one hero light, 100 potato snacks, and two million violets. Uh, and third place will get one four star ticket, three 11 draw tickets, uh, three star 11 draw tickets. Uh, one free star 11 draw ticket sorry 25 potato snacks and 2 million violets that is basically what we're getting with this lottery uh, and I wish you all the best of luck and in saying that guys that seems to be let me just quickly check discord make sure I didn't miss any news um, I will quickly cover the dates okay so Master Familiar War Game will start on the 20th the finals for Master Familiar War game will start on the 23rd. The 25th will be the second part winter rerun, Heroic Trials, and the 38th Seventh Zone. Um, and also, there is the last uh, Done Memo live stream on the 29th of December. So uh, we can, well, last 29th, sorry, last live stream of the year, I should, <laughs> I should say. Anyway, guys, that is going to be the video. I'm sorry if I didn't cover it in as much detail as you wanted, but that is going to be everything. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you're not. Social media links in the description. And as always, guys, I love you and I will catch you later.